Right, welcome to this discussion uh, with uh, David Fennell. Uh, now, you may have, uh, if you saw the last discussion with Chris Delisle, at the end, after I'd described him, Chris Delisle that is, as uh, Rotary's Swiss army knife for all his involvement, he, he pointed out that uh, he considered himself less involved than David Fennell. And therefore, we should do David Fennell, who'd done much more than he had. Well, David Fennell, <laughs> welcome. Uh, you, uh, you may, I know you're a very good friend with Chris. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to start from the, 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 the time that I first came into contact with yourself. Uh, not so much one to one, but in the room, when I joined Rotary, you were already a member of, of Rotary. And I've very quickly learned a very active and forthright member uh, of Rotary who puts an awful lot into it. In fact, this year when I reported that Chris Delisle had, uh, if you like, marshaled the field, he'd taken over from you in all the previous years, many previous yeah. years. And about, I, of course, about 12, I think it was. Yes. <laughs> and and uh, I, I still saw you uh, still involved, even though... Chris was technically the marshal. You was in there offering the sort of advice uh, that you'd done before when you was marshalling the field. And uh, and it, uh, that, that's just one coincidence, I, I think. But it's only one of many things that you've done because you've uh, supported the fireworks, you've supported the half marathon, physically organising, uh, providing transport, providing all sorts of things. Well, trying so, to get other people to provide things. That's the main yes. thing I've been, uh, been quite good at. Really. Your, your, your contacts in the, in the business world, uh, uh, no doubt you've been able to call on some of those from time yeah. to time. Now, that started back in Roundtable, didn't it? It did, yes, yeah. yeah um, you've learned a lot in Roundtable. Uh, yes, you know, and I met a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, and uh, I also understand that uh, from that, you um, you got involved in the national position and yeah. international position. Yes, you were, yeah. were, were diary secretary. For diary, se diary secretary to the um, uh, roundtable president, uh, which is is quite a, a, an involvement of a job. Really, you you've got um, uh, a three year term, really, because you got the vice president president and immediate past chairman and vice president uh, um, and uh, uh, we're organising him to travel around the country going to, at the time round table was very, very big thing uh, back in the um, 70s, 80s. It was a very, um, very um, busy place to be, you know, so we were, I think we were something in the region of 20,000 members. Mm -hmm. You you also were running your own business as well yeah, uh, yeah. throughout this. Uh, well, they, period. they they all reckoned I've retired years ago. So, <laughs> it, uh, so but yeah, but yeah. You, that's what you do, isn't it? So, but that led, busy you, that led you to make these contacts, and I think um, you put the two things together: the business aspect and the people that you met who were in business, and the charity work that were done mm -hmm. led to you being awarded the freedom of freedom the, of decorum. I yeah. was yeah. yeah. In 2014, for my services to the community and the business, which uh, was a terrific honour, you know, from a uh, uh, man who was uh, expelled from school. <laughs> so, yeah, I will come to that because yeah. it's a very interesting story, isn't it? Because, as I understand it, um, the headmaster that expelled you. Uh, tell us about it. You, you well, met him yeah, later well, in life. Well, the, uh, I did let, meet him later in life. He was um, the uh, I was uh, elected a, a director of the Hemel Hempstead Building Society. It was a great shame that it, was, it uh, ceased to exist in the Big Bang period in the eighties. Um, but at the time, it was going great guns, and I was uh, it was its hundredth anniversary, and uh, I was wheeled out as the youngest director ever of the um, uh, building society and in its hundred years and uh, they had the Lord Lieutenant of Hertfordshire, the Sheriff and all uh, loads of other dignitaries there and the Mayor of uh, 
it was Hemel Hempstead, but he'd changed to decorum at the beginning of the, that year. And um, uh, going around shaking hands with everything, I get to the, uh, the mayor of decorum. I said, hello, Jack, I haven't seen you since you expelled me. And uh, which did cause quite a bit of a, uh, an interesting conversation. So. I imagine it did. <laughs> Obviously not expecting the person that he'd kicked out of school for yeah. being a bit of a scallywag or whatever it was, yeah. um, uh, was here in front of him in, 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 in a significant role, in significant company. And yes, as, that's, the, that's the and thing for part. me. Yeah, the yeah. thing for me was a significant company. But that's not company. the only revenge you've taken, is it? Because <laughs> as I understand it, the school at the time what was the school? Uh, Warner's End Secondary Modern, which is now a JFK. And you have I have a I have a grandson there, and my daughter is a, a governor. So, so, <laughs> so I, and going there, I, I went back to one of their plays a yeah. little while ago, and um, uh, I th I said to their headmaster or assistant headmaster, I think it was, that I hadn't been in, back in the school for sixty years. You know. Yeah. Yeah, so, and they still got the same staircase that I went up to. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that. I mean, that's a, a, a fascinating. But it wasn't just that you got the uh, uh, the freedom of the borough uh, for the work that you'd done. You also got an honour from from the. I was very on the Queen's birthday honours list in two thousand and sixteen. I was awarded the British Empire Medal for services to the community and business so which was it's a, it's a very very proud man that i was so, and plus yeah. it was on uh, the joy of it was as well my i shared a birthday with her majesty as well the 21st of april and to uh get it in the birthday honors list it was something very special for me yes i'm, I'm sure it is and and well deserved by the, all the work that you've done because uh, you don't get uh, through those things to that level without a whole raft of things that you've done. Not just, you don't just do one yeah. thing, uh, you do many things and I'm sure. Well, it's just making other people do all those bits and well, pieces yeah. for me as yeah. well. I've <laughs> been very fortunate. As you do in Rodri and, uh, and also offering you advice. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. A lot of people don't think it's advice. They think yeah. it's... Uh, whether it's one to know or not. Whether it's one to know Yes, I, I, I tend to... Don't hide my light under a bushel. Yes, you, yeah. You, uh, the 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 background, the 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 expulsion from school, and uh, and I understand from talking to you that you had a period where you were going to many different schools before that. Mm. Um, I think it came to thirteen. You, you had you had to have a strength of character coming from that. You learn you learn <sighs> life. Well, I think it was the uh, University of uh, Life. The University uh, of Life. Yeah, and I, yeah. Uh, and that yeah. stood you in pretty good stead. Yeah, because... I, I still don't think it. I think you, you've got to be. Uh, it, you, you, I've missed a lot of other things, but I might have uh, yes. might have not got where I am now. But you so. have got some of the things. You've got a passion for motor vehicles. Yes, I do like my motor cars. Yes, yeah. you've got. Saga, where well, we've got, uh, uh, I own a, a 1901 steamer with a, another Rotarian, Jim Gregory, and um, and we've got another uh, car as well, a 1912 Overlander, which is a big Bonnie and Clyde car. Um, wonderful, one of these days we're going to get it out and run it, but um, the steamer does cause us um, some interest. Uh, I've got an... Um, you, uh, you've had this in the London to Brighton. Yes, yes, yes. You, the steam done is, that, uh, we've done it. We've done London to Brighton. Ten, we've got a medal for ten years, so I presume ten year medal yeah. uh, for it. So I presume it hasn't that's always it. been plain sailing. It hasn't has been it? plain sailing. It does have a tendency to catch fire uh, <laughs> occasionally, but you know, but nothing, nothing too just. Drastic. In the middle there, you've just acquired a new vehicle. I mean, one that uh, you've I'm, always wanted. I always wanted a. Uh, uh, a Daimler Dart, and I've just acquired it, a 1963 Daimler Dart. I used to have, a, a back in the dim and distant past, a, uh, a Daimler 250, which was the uh, Jaguar Mark II uh, as a Daimler. But, uh, yeah, and we've got a 19, 1930 um, uh, uh, Austin 7 race car that I, I still race to this day. Or, 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 yeah. Whilst we're on the subject of racing, we've gone from London to Brighton in a steam. Yeah, we've yeah we've raced around yeah, Le Mans with yeah, the twenty four hour classic Le Mans, which was absolutely fine. 
fantastic. And I must must say that I've just lost uh, last week uh, uh, my friend that I've been racing with for many years. So, and, uh, uh, but, uh, so there you are. All those things. A life of keeping your feet on the ground, driving cars, but you don't always keep your feet on the ground. You haven't always kept your feet no, on the I, ground. No, I, I, I do like flying. I've never actually got a license, but uh, I have flown, uh, very fortunate to have flown in a, and flown uh, a Spitfire um, and uh, wow. several uh, several other uh, things, uh, <laughs> even a flight in Concorde, so I've actually flown. <laughs> um, wow. So... Yeah, absolutely, and amazing. I mean, it's the old question of engineering. You're repairing cars, fixing cars, driving cars, acquiring cars, flying mechanical vehicles in the air. It just is very much my impression of, of, of you, that uh, you are uh, a man of many interests, despite all the work you've put in. You have managed to indulge. <laughs> Well, I've indulged, and I've managed to um, employ quite a lot of people in this yeah. in this in this thing. Our company yeah, has been running now Excellent. for fifty seven years, and um, and people uh, will know that name. Yeah, Birkham said people will know that name. Yeah, for um, our transport. Yeah, but uh, I, I've but tried it's to not the, other... it's not just the big ticket items, though, is it? Like the marathon and the fireworks and uh, even your business. That mm. the big, the, you drive everything. Most things, let me say, if not everything. Uh, and I make reference now, anybody that goes to the station in Birkenstead, outside the, the entrance, uh, there's a bench. Uh, and it's a, tri it's a tribute to or a um, memorial yeah. of uh, Matthew, Matthew Miners, Matthew one of our youngest yeah. members who unfortunately and tragically died through COVID. Yeah. Uh, you initiated the idea of the bench. You, in fact, not only initiated it, you got it put together, and not only put together, but you maintained it. Well, I might tell you, but the one thing was that I managed to get uh, sufficient funds from different people, from people that he worked with, and uh, Rotarians, and different uh, areas that Matthew came from. So we, we actually, it was probably one of the easiest fundraising things I've ever had to do. Probably the hardest bit was to try and make sure that the wording on it was correct and everybody yeah. was happy with what we put on it. But uh, that, it, it's a very worthwhile thing for Matthew and I. But he was that's a great an man. example, David, of what I see you doing. Uh, that's just one of many other things. Uh, it's not the big ticket items. It's not the the, the extravagances that it were. It, Sometimes it's just the backroom stuff, just the well, little I, stuff. I joined, I joined Rotary saying that I didn't actually, because I've been involved in uh, Roundtable and all these other fundraising things and uh, I've been a, uh, involved with Woodfield School for nearly 50 years now, I look, look at, and uh, uh, I, I, I just felt that I didn't want to be chair of this and chair of that and I'll just be a backroom boy you know just the black hands and, you uh, failed David I failed I you failed. failed because people don't see you as a backroom boy yeah it, but it, you, you try you, you may not uh, yeah, have got but the, the position. thing is that I, I, I it's like my, my business I just expect people when I ask them to do something to do it and yeah. I, I'm surprised if it doesn't happen yeah. And you know, yeah. and, and, and I'm, the way I'm very you ask, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that. But yeah. I, I, I do. You know, I, I, I everybody says, you know, uh, how do you do all these things? What do you do? You know, why have you done all these things? I said, well, one of the things I don't do is watch very much television mm. or thing. I probably do too much on the computer now. But uh, uh, yeah. God bless Amazon. <laughs> there are other companies. <laughs> Now you come across you come across your work and your involvement in all all strangest places. Uh, I know that now you're a good lady. I used to go walking the dogs across yep. the fields just up from yep. there, down through what I call Dingley Dell. Yeah. And as you rise up the other side, there's a bench there. Yes. Yeah. And it's a tribute to Mel, isn't it? Well, I I I, I uh, we've been married now. Um, that's my second wife, and she. She, she has the unfortunate thing of being, you know, to looking after my care. She's my carer now, really. Yeah. And um, uh, but, uh, you know, you think I rush around. Yeah, there's another yeah. one. But um, I thought, well, 
I've got to get something for her for a wedding present, you know, something. So I, I hunted around and I got in touch with um, uh, Ashridge and um, uh, they came up with uh, a bench Benji, for her. Yeah. So, and uh, I was going to present it to her. On, we had two receptions, one down in Dorset where we got married and then the one here for friends yeah. here. And uh, she'd already been on sitting on the bench when, <laughs> <laughs> when I gave her the uh, brass plaque. Well, what I say, <laughs> your name crops up in all the most unusual places. I mean, yeah. I staggered up that hill because yeah. it's quite it's a plot. Steep, yeah. And and thought it's a bench. Uh -huh. And as you sit down to catch your breath, and suddenly there you find out <laughs> there's, there's your name as a Yes, it's, to, a, it's all part of the advertising. Campaign. Well, David, the future, I know you've been traveling, uh, mm. you, you like to travel. Um, you went to Antarctica, yes? Yeah, yeah, hopefully in November. Uh, yeah. And uh, and then back into the fight to do the work that you've done throughout your life by the seven. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to slow down and stop a bit, you know, yeah. uh, but uh, it's, you know, uh, when you've got a very forthright um, uh, lady you're married to, uh, you don't get a lot of chance to, yeah. to slow down and sit down and sit down, sit down and read the paper. Uh, you know, I, I so, know Mel but, uh, uh, as well. She's involved in, in, uh, in, in a wheel, wheel and, uh, and many of the activities that take place. Uh, that Rotary are involved in. So I'm putting up with well, me. Look, David, don't, don't ever stop. And uh, wow. it's very much appreciated. And if you ever get to write these things down and, 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 and make a book of it, what, whatever the situation, uh, people would see a, a life well lived, well worthwhile, and hopefully it going on for a long mm -hmm. time. Don't ever stop. David, thank you very much for thank your Thank you time. very much thank indeed. You. Thank you. I really enjoyed it.